semi-slav defense, main line, Stoltz variation, 6, BD6. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen side. e3 defends the d4 and c4 pawns at the cost of blocking the dark squared bishop. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center and fights for control of e5. Qc2 develops the queen and controls the e4 square. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. This kicks an opposing bishop. The bishop is now in a secure position. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. This threatens to fork pieces. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to pin a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This pins a pawn, which restricts its mobility. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This poses a queen winning danger. It is quite good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This makes it impossible for the adversary to capture a knight. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. In comparison to the right pick, this is the incorrect piece to capture with and results in a loss of content. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to win material. It is a miss. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. 
the best choice is this one. It is ideal. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to double the pawns in front of the king. It is excellent. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. An active king is critical in the end game and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. It is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. That's fine. It is good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This comes in several sections. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is best. 
Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. This stops the opponent from being able to promote a pawn to a queen. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. 